Julie. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean my brushes. Before we get started, make sure you click the little subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I've been wanting to film this video for literally years. Years. I normally would wash my brushes at the barn because I'm home. I washed them here. We just won't tell my mom. I washed them in the kitchen sink. This isn't like the set in stone way you have to do it. You can use a bucket of water or if I'm at the barn I just like to spray them all down and like put soap in them and like scrub them on the rubber mats. So I thought I would show you guys my grooming tote. This is the Windsor grooming tote from Black Knight Accessories. It is so nice and like so beautiful. This bag is quite big. I'm someone who likes a lot of products. I use a lot of things almost daily on Friday. But having a bigger bag just makes sense for me. It has some just like beautiful detailing lined with leather and same with like the sides. This one actually has a nameplate that says equestrian prep. If I was at the barn, I probably would just hose it down because I'm not, I just, I vacuumed all the pockets and then I just wiped it down with the washcloth. I believe you can use the code equestrian prep for free shipping. In this video, you will see me like wash and scrub my brushes clean and then disinfect them with bleach. You don't have to do both steps. I like to scrub them before I bleach them because it like actually gets the dirt out whereas if you just soak them in bleach it disinfects them but it doesn't like loosen the dirt. That's just what I like to do. It's a good thing to do like once a season especially in the spring there can be a lot of fungus and like viruses and like gross stuff as the snow melts and it gets warmer. So I think it's a good thing to do once in a while. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So I just like to use a mild soap with warm water to clean my brushes and here I'm just putting all of my very dirty brushes into the sink and getting them wet. I like to just scrub them in the soapy water like on the bottom of the sink or if you're at the barn you can use the side of the bucket or the rubber mats. So I'm just getting everything all nice and soapy. Um, I'll scrub them on my hand and add a little bit of extra soap. I'm definitely guilty of using too much soap in all aspects of my life, but better safe than sorry. So I just like to give everything a big scrub. And here I'm using a scrub brush, which I find handy for everything at the barn. And I'm just using it on my strip hair um, gentle groomer since it's rubber. It's really nice to just use the scrub brush to get all the dirt off. I like to use this on anything that's like heavier duty, like this Ethel hoof brush to get in all those little nooks and crannies since the scrub brush obviously won't ruin it. Here I'm using it on my hands on gloves. These get a lot of wear and tear and have held up really, really well and they cleaned really, really beautifully. So I'm just getting in all their little nubs for currying and getting them all clean. And I'm cleaning my hoof pick, which is very rusty and well used, but we do our best to keep her clean. And then this is a disaster. I don't really know how to clean this brush except to get the hair that's in it out. And I tried to scrub it. And here I'm scrubbing my main pulling comb. And this is my shedding blade that I'm scrubbing. I really don't like the design of it, but I was cleaning it before I put it away because I don't want to use it. And I'm just rinsing the soap out of everything. It's really important to get all the soap out so it doesn't potentially irritate your horse's skin. Since I am going to be disinfecting and bleaching my brushes, I didn't rinse them out maybe as well as I would have if I wasn't doing that extra step always important to give them a good rinse and get all that excess water out too when you are done. And I'll give them like a little scrub again just to make sure no bubbles pop up and they need another rinse. And 
And then I am putting all of my like non-grooming tool products in the sink. This is my hoof oil. It always gets so, so, so dirty. And you will see I spend a lot of time scrubbing it, wiping it off with a warm washcloth. I don't give all of these products like a good, good scrub because many of them are just a little dusty and like needed a nice rinse. But some of them like this hoof oil were gross. <laughs> So I find like when you're cleaning out your grooming bag and cleaning your brushes, it's always helpful to give all your little tools and products like a nice wipe down, keep everything clean. And I found it really helpful for like these products and scissors and stuff to just use a warm washcloth because it kind of like got the details more than the scrub brush could and was more gentle. And then here are the Palms earplugs that I'm washing. I just used some warm water and mild soap and made sure I rinsed them out really, really well because they go on a sensitive and delicate part of the horse. So you want to make sure all that soap is out. Now I'm just disinfecting all of my brushes with bleach. I used about half a cup to a cup with very, very hot water. Just swirled it all around, got it all combined, and added all my brushes. And I added about enough water to make sure everything was submerged and all of the brushes got a nice coating in the bleachy water. And my hands on gloves did not get discolored from this, which I was really happy about. And I let everything sit for about 10 minutes to get all disinfected. Once everything had soaked, I scrubbed some rust off of my hoof pick and then gave everything a very, very good rinse um, and made sure I got all the excess water out. So here are all my products and tools drying and then I bring all of my brushes to a towel to dry and I like to dry everything upside down so that the water can't loosen any of the glue in the brushes and I kind of like resituate them halfway through to make sure everything's drying right. And then I put my hands on gloves on these glasses just for my kitchen to make sure they could open up a little bit and get some more air so they weren't just lying flat. I like to let everything sit out for just under 24 hours to make sure they're fully dry. I hope you guys found my tips and tricks helpful um, and you might be able to implement them in your own life. Make sure you check out Black Knight Accessories um, if you're not interested in this grooming tote. They have tons of other stuff. You know I love um, their rider wristlets. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts, um, what videos you would like to see in the future, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!